When trying to communicate with the team, how do you ping that you want to help someone? I notice several people ping on people when they want their attention, not because they want help. Ping on yourself. You need help. Or uh, ping on them that you want to help them and then give a subsequent command. For example, uh, you ping wants to help Lily and then you say assist in this lane. Like ping ping Lily, assist this lane, defend this lane, that kind of thing. If that doesn't work, then they are probably not functioning correctly. And then you can, uh, well, you can stop programming them. Hey, Boons McLean. It is time. It is time. Kappa, German style. Kappa. Let's fly. Do you think Leaping Strike was the right ultimate for Lilara in the last game? So I get why she got it. Oh, hold on a sec. Oh rip, they banta. We banta us. Get Lucio. Um, will you be heading across the pond in the next few weeks? No plans for it. Did you win the last game? Yes, we did. I have 27k gold and I'm willing to play rank soon. What heroes do you recommend to buy? Heroes you're already good with. Uh, I would recommend easy heroes. Uh, he got Leaping Strike because he wanted to get out of Entomb. But... And we had mouth, so I think Leaping Strike counters mouth better than Thornwood Vine. So I do agree it was the right choice, but I don't we think he used it right. When you use Leaping Strike, you need to flank yourself to the side of the opponent so that when you're leaping, you're still to the side of the opponent on the other side. You never want a frontal Leaping Strike because it puts you behind the opponent and alone. That can be okay if you're leaping back again, but that's pretty much all your escape gone by then. You want to use one at a time judiciously, Balloon, not I'm now going to use both to get behind you and in front of you again. It's not only very predictable because they know you must leave their behind alone because you're not going to stay there because you're exposed. So not only do they know you're going to end up there, but they also know you're going to end up in front again. Whereas if you use nuanced leaping strikes from side to side, they can decide whether, uh, well, they can't decide whether you're going to use your second one immediately or not. So you, you want to do sideways uh, leapings for the most part. When should you take Cindergoza as Arthas? I think if if you never take it, you'll be you'll be fine. The ghouls on Army of the Dead also tank fortifications. So shutting down a single frontal fort with Syndra is generally not worth it when you could just walk up, attack it, and put up eight ghouls and also tank the fort, you can still push it. So Syndra is not meant for fortification disable only. It's both. Oh, that's a poor choice, I think, because... Well, because we don't... Well, I guess Zul and Greymane can be pulled out of position with Ruth. No, no, it's decent. It's just a bit tryhard. I, I think uh, since he can't do PvE too easily, I think they've given themselves a poor Blackheart's draft because Greymane can do camps, but none of them can really do camps too easily. They must do it together. That means they have less lane presence, which makes them at risk against Tracer in lane, I think. Vine is a great tank burner with 7 2 and 13 2. Oh, those are talent choices 7 2, 13 2. Okay, so. Uh, you're talking about Wild Vigor and the poison that persists when they're slowed, aren't you, Mighty Cat? Yeah, it's pretty decent, but shouldn't it be Giant Killer, though, if we're burning tanks? Define easy heroes. Vala's listed as easy, but with how squishy she is and requires filter stepping, I wouldn't call it easy. Agree. I don't think Vala is that easy. 
Oh, let's get this uh, I mean, I think I think she's easy to play, but I don't think she should be recommended for beginners. But then she's not on my easy list either. If if you actually check my commands, easy, I say Rainer, Thrall, Morales, Nazebo, Asmodan, Diablo, Johanna. There's others, but they're not as easy, I would say. Uh, I guess Greyman bot first. This can't be obvious, man. So we agree on that. Um, Let's give it a spin. I'll go for Axelarando. Oh shit! I thought I was healing. Okay. Green is not healing. Yeah. Could have saved him. Word is there's treasure on the gods. Be As it should be. I fought better. That's my jam. That's my jam. Um, here's some tips for Lucio. He's got healing and speed, either one. Um, I think you should approach him from a from a point of healing always. Always keep it on healing. And you use speed under certain conditions, such as you can prevent more damage dealt to your allies if you speed them up out of danger, out of damage. And if you can engage and get kills with it. Gonna be big. <laughs> Keep up with big. That's when you switch to speed and then you switch back after you're done. Oh, some merch would hit the spot. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Um, I didn't intend to solo this. I thought G-Main was going to come as well. Yeah, so I should have been healing here all along. Uh, I don't think Greyman and I see I die. Let's try it for the third time. Love it. Moving to the beat. Push off. Yeah, uh, we weren't meant to be all here, uh, but uh, yeah. Let's hustle. I've I I thought <laughs> I thought more of us will go top. Uh, a bot and let's all uh, solo here, but of course they're playing kill rotation there. So, do you think we need more support heroes? Support has to be renewed, or is anything fine? Yeah, yeah, we need more support for sure. More everything. I go party mix. A good kill there. More everything, and I think most of all support. Yeah. 
And once we get to 85 heroes, I think we can have three bands. Well, Grey Man died, but he already paid, so it's fine. Moving to the beat. Step to this. We're on top of. Let's skip the treasure hunt. It's right there. Go grab it. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, of course it can work if Zul is just extra careful. Lucio in the house. Get back. I go reverse amp. I think uh, it's okay in this draft. Where are we going again? All right. They don't have that much burst. What do you think is the strongest healer? I would say Lucio. Greetings, friend. Six, sir. Push off. That slow is really nice. Like if he's rooted, switch to heal, and then when they're unrooted, speed up again if you want to disengage. He's slowed, you can use speed up, and then they get rooted, you heal, they unroot, you can speed up again if you want. Now you heal, you boost. You speed up to get them out, and then you heal again. Speed up to get past the fort. Reverse arm. Slow down variant. And then heal. Bonus heal. Armor during war ride. We're healing. Let's speed up to get out. And then we heal because we're out. Can go pay what we have. It's not much, but it's something. I hear that. Mm, a bit low on mana. Gonna oh. speed up and tap. Up. We have lots of extra move speed past the fort. Get some mana. Keep getting collision. Thanks for the awesome stream, Grub. Love watching every chance I get. Heal. Boost and reverse arm. Damaging Gul'dan. Speed up to chase. Speeding up. Love it. Step to this. Let's see how you fight. Heal. Your aid is well tied here. Speed up to, to chase. Heal because we're rooted. And we go die in peace. Wasn't he supposed to play easy heroes? But Lucio is easy. Great. 
Why did he run in? Because Gul'dan had 1 HP and I didn't die yet. I felt bad. So reverse amp uh, does increase amp it up duration to 4 seconds. And normally it's 3. That's the passive. And also it does 202 damage per second, which is almost as good as lightning breath. It's really good. Uh, or the speed boost slows them for 45. So you speed up your allies for 15. You slow them for 45. That's a 60% mobility increase. Damaging them. Bonus. Speed. Healing. Uh, I'm gonna get a rejuvenescencia. Healing them for a lot. Cut him off. Healing. Nice. Bonus. That's a lot of bonus heal. Looks like we're gonna go catch them. My reverse amp is ready. Reverse amp. Oh. Wow, you get rooted when you hit the root halfway to Gust. You still go past, but you end up rooted in new locations. Sick. I couldn't pay attention. Could you show your talents? Yeah, I can show it now. Uh, I got Accelerando at 1, Subwoofer 4, Party Mix, Heart Style, and Rejuvenescencia. So good wave there, Lucio. Insane. This is gonna make you feel better. We need these much for backup. Huh? They're all paid up? Bah, who cares? Let's Lucio get to the, the fun house. part. <laughs> We're on top of the nice world. Nice that you can rotate with your team with uh accelerando. <laughs> Uh, if you want to dodge a gust steal, you put one here, one here, one here, one here, and it's pretty much impossible for them to catch you. Just gotta watch out, we don't get gorged into the... Keep. Uh, it's already opened the wall. I think I should always comment when I switch the mode so that you're more aware of it. It may be difficult to observe otherwise. Speed! Maybe I should even roleplay. Speed boost! I can, apparently, I don't have the concentration to commentate it like this. Speed boost! Healing boost! I don't know how he says that, actually. A 
Let's move it, people. Non-stop remix. Oh, yes. Let's do that one. <laughs> if I keep hitting two heroes, it will last forever. I want to last I forever. Hey, Grubby. Hey, Azuriel. I was very Azuriel. Touched when I saw you streaming. I really enjoyed your WC3 Pro plays. Thank you. I have learned a lot from your hot plays. If you could, I would like to see an AA focused task with Wall Heroic less than three. So you want the Sadar? Yeah. Can do. Would like. He gets banned a lot, so we'll see when it's possible. Thank you very much, uh, Azuriel. Appreciate it. Healing beat. Feel the healing beat. Drop the healing beat. Okay. Healing beat! Speed boost! Love it. How fast can we be? 155 plus? Oh, yeah. Let's amp it up. I thank you. May we see Go some in. sweet shop and wood youth? I would love to. He's pretty easy, mini CP, but it's not easy to win with him. So it's definitely uh Your ally is in peril. Definitely tough. Feel my strength returning. Love it. He, uh, speed boost. Oops. <laughs> We're playing it so safe. Isn't that nice? As it should be. I'm out. You can just win this map by PvE. I think uh, if you like WoW raiding, you like Blackheart's play. Speed boost. Now that's my jam. Now that's my jam. Who's got the coin Strawberry jam. My favorite. <laughs> I wouldn't say watermelon jam. I've never had it. Though I think it could be nice. I have not yet used non-stop remix. I want to. This is good. I wonder if there's like missed beats. Oh my god, it never stops. Non stop remix is OP as hell. <laughs> it never stops. Hey, I gotta go. Your aid is well timed, healer. Healing. Speed. Oh my god, reverse amp really is better. A good effort. Well play. GG game. And reverse. Ribbit. With the one warrior team comp, I usually go for bring it together. Could you elaborate on why you went for the percentage heal? Percentage heal is probably not by me, but by others. And I can confirm, seen as the most broken level 16 talent there is. So I don't even consider others, honestly. Revan. I'm a, I'm a bandwagoner sometimes. I think you need a good amount of bandwagoning 
and stubbornness to carve out a path for yourself not just if you want to be excellent at the top of the ladder but even just to be the best you you can be you start with uh, being a sponge and after that you are a trampoline absorb those infos that are out there for you and then start diversifying initially when you're level six copy and then innovate uh, after all, we can learn to be a uh, F1 courier, courier, bringing stuff around. Now we can learn to be an F1 driver, maybe the best in the world, but we certainly didn't invent the wheel. Someone else did that. We build upon each other. I I take this talent because everyone said it's OP, and uh, I think it's true. It heals a lot. For the rest, you've seen the build. I just hover over it quickly. Uh, the reason I went reverse amp is because they're uh, heavy on immobile tanks. I can really capitalize on that and make that even worse. We don't need that much sound barrier uh, burst because they are sustained damage team. Maybe if they went hinterlands blast, but yeah, it's a sustained damage team, which is very survivable. And so uh, things like earthquake and slow are much better against tanky sustained damage teams because uh, you keep them pinned in place making them less effective uh, compared to what they would normally want to be doing. And uh, uh, sound barrier is better against blow-up comps that fare really poorly in the follow-up stages of the team fights. So that's my reasoning for it. Uh, we went 4-4, four, four, Sir Chris. So 4-3 after you. It was, uh, it was good and bad games. Yeah, you don't think I do a uh, musical Brazilian uh, extrovert impression the best? Yeah, that makes sense, I think, Rectal Reek. Do you ever let go of right click as Lucio? Of course, uh, but when I move, I do hold it down for Tracer and Lucio. <laughs> you did, Cyberpower. You did tell me about Reverse Amp. It's good. But I, I don't want to take it like always. But I just want to take it uh, when I think it's good. Uh, Lion Late says, Percentage heal is better if a target has more than around 1650 HP. Well, that's pretty much everyone, isn't it, Lion Late? Yeah, my bad. Nice. Good job. Oh, they're trying to do boss. Uh, I'm going to go with Pylon Overcharge. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Varian. Thank you for the boss. Always oh, nice. 